Hello friends, my name is Alex and welcome back to the Thrifty Couponer. I have a super exciting Walmart and Walgreens and a tiny bit of Target haul to go over with you. These are mainly Ibotta bonuses I was chasing after here and then my husband did go shopping with me as well on his account so you'll see a couple duplicates laid out on my table here. On my account, I had a free dollars weekend warrior bonus, and then I also had a five dollar party bonus. So I had 10 offers left to hit everything, and I did finish it off. So starting off, I went over to Walgreens to do one last go at the Unilever fetch deal on the fetch app if you spend thirty dollars before coupons on participating unilever items you'll get ten dollars cash back and i was able to get some shea moisture for a really good price here now i did do this as an online pickup because in my area at least shea moisture is way cheaper online than it is at store and i'll throw in a, a photo here of how much this stuff was in store but If your in-store prices are um, lower, definitely do it in-store and then you can use paper coupons. I did this online because even if I went in-store and used like the $5 off of two coupons that are floating around, it would have been way more expensive. So what I did here is I picked up one of the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Masks. I got one of the Shea Moisture Intensive Hair Masks. One of the Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoos. And then to make sure that I hit my $30 to qualify for the fetch offer, I got two of the Suave Men Active Sport Deodorants. So as you can see here, the shampoo was $8.69. The deodorants were $1.29 each, so $2.58 together. Each of the hair masks were $10.49 each. Now, on Shea Moisture, if you spend 25, there is 10 back as well. And then also in the same transaction, I went ahead and picked up two of the Colgate Total Toothpaste. These are on sale for free 99 each. And there is, when you buy two, you're gonna get $4 of Walgreen cash back. And then I also had a $4 off of two digital coupon, which makes them completely free. Now, you could do this in store completely separate and not do the giant scenario I did if you just want to get some new toothpaste. But the reason I threw these in is because on Walgreens right now, and everyone should have this on their account, there is a tiered cash back. If you spend 25, you're gonna get $5 Walgreens cash back, but if you spend 40, you will get 10. Now, throwing in the toothpaste, now my coupon won't show, or it does show up right here. So before coupons, this cart was like 41 or so. So I did qualify to get that $10 back when you spend 40. So Colgate, that was the only coupon I used. Everything else was full price, at least online. So I got $4 for the Colgate, $10 for spending $25 on participating Shea Moisture products, and $10 for spending $40 before coupons. So I got $24.40 in total. I did pay $36.23 out of pocket. You do have to pay cash to get that cash back. You can't pay with points or it doesn't count because it is a spend deal. You do need to spend the amount um, to be able to qualify for that. So I spent the $36.23, got $24.40 here, and then I got $10 back from Fetch for spending $30 on qualifying Suave and Shea Moisture. So it made everything here $1.80 free, which is amazing. I love the Shea Moisture line, especially the raw Shea Butter. I've been using the shampoo for a couple weeks now, and I've dyed the crap out of my hair. And this has been the only thing that has kind of helped heal it a bit. Um, so I was very happy to get this going here. Next up, I have some Target deals to go over with you. First, we have a 100% back 
on Fetch on the Popsicle Fruit Twisters. Now, you can do this at any store you want. Um, Target is just the only one in my area that sells these guys. So, this was $5.99 in store. I paid that out of pocket, scanned my receipt to Fetch, got the full $5.99 back, making it completely free. And then, on the Coupons.com app, there's a $1.50 back, so it made it a $1.50 moneymaker, which is pretty great. And I really enjoyed these kind of uh, Popsicles, so I was happy to get that. And then I misjudged how many offers I needed to hit my bonus. I usually try to include an extra one just to be safe since I live uh, about an hour away from a lot of these stores. So it's a massive pain if I get home and I realize I didn't have quite enough. But I had 10 cents off any toothbrush and this was 79 cents. So 69 cents for a toothbrush just to get me towards my bonus and to have kind of a safety net in case something didn't uh, scan. And then next, this was a awesome little deal that I found off of Instagram. I will throw in a image here of the Instagrammer who posted this in her breakdown. Uh, thank you so much to her for posting it. I actually found it while I was in the store and just did it on the fly. And it ended up uh, making my entire haul a bit cheaper because I was able to get rid of a couple offers I was planning on doing since I was able to do these instead. Now I won't go into full details. Um, check out this image I'm about to throw up here. So after everything was said and done with, I bought a, the digital coupons and I did get the $5 when you spend 20 Target gift card. It, everything was 75 cents, which is awesome. Now, uh, one word of warning. I don't know if this was my store or not. None of my coupons came up like at all and I've never had that happen before you would think out of four items something would come up so I think my store system was just bugging out I don't think this is going to happen to other people but just um, your mileage may vary I think it should be fine my cashier was really nice and uh, I just pulled up my account on my phone and showed her what I had loaded and we did double check it was all clipped and I did enter my phone number and she just manually adjusted everything for me but I just wanted to let you guys know in case all right now everything else here is walmart <laughs> so starting off i went ahead and did this old el paso deal again the old el pasos are 87 cents each there is a shopkick bundle if you buy two there's a dollar 80 back it makes it a six cent money maker if you usually buy these packets it's just a nice way to stock up Next, you can do this deal through my points or swag bucks. Um, if you're going to do both, you do need to do them on separate transactions. You cannot uh, submit the same receipt to both swag bucks and my points. It will get rejected. So that's what I did here. These are 98 cents each. You're going to buy two. On swag bucks, you'll get free 50 back. On my points, I believe it is free 78, but don't quote me. I might be off a couple pennies. Um, either way, it's going to be a $1.54 moneymaker when you buy the pair, and this is a once a week deal, so you can do this once every week, so I have been piling up on these, they're really tasty, and it is a nice little moneymaker towards the rest of my haul. Next up, a never deal on Shopkick, the Maranefa Individual Almond Butter Packet is $0.98, cents. there's a $1.30 back on Shopkick, making it a $0.32 cent moneymaker. Next up, we have some Skintimate coupons that came out earlier this month. Both the Skintimate Bloom razors and the refill heads are $7.97. There are $4 coupons with a limit of two. So I did two and my husband did two so we could get heads and the razors. Um, the reason I did heads and razors are these are separate Ibotta offers. So if you do a razor and a head, it's going to count as two offers towards your bonus. Um, if you want to do two razors or two heads, only go for it. So $4 coupons and $3 back on Ibotta each makes them $0.97 cents each, which is pretty great. And I have a ton of the ref refill heads from a couple months ago, so I was very happy to get some handles again because I didn't have handles to go with them. Next up, a nice little freebie on these Twix. Now, these were in the candy area of my store in the aisle. They weren't near checkout where I thought they would be. So these are 98 cents each. On Shopkick, there's a dollar back on Twix share sizes. 
and it does include these fun sizes in the uh, description. So these do apply. It makes them completely free and a two cent money maker. So both of us grabbed these. Next, these Colgate free packs are free 96. There's free dollars back on Ibotta, making it just 96 cents. So about like 30 free cents a tube, which is pretty awesome if you need to stock up on some toothpaste. And there is a limit of five, so you could get a bunch of them if you wanted to. Now, this isn't an amazing deal, but I have literally never seen a deal on maple syrup, and um, I've gone kind of snooty. I like the real stuff. I won't buy the fake um, sugar syrups anymore. So these Maple Grove Farms, the 8.5 ounce variety, are $6.58 each. If you buy two, you're going to get $5.34 back from my points, or you could do swag bucks. There's only $5 back on there. But if you do with my points, it makes two of them $7.82. So just a little bit less than buy one, get one free. And I have been out of maple syrup for a while. And it's kind of one of those spendier items that I will get. So I was happy to save a little bit of money on these guys. Now, next up, my Malto Meal rebate reset on Ibotta. There is $2 back on any bag over 30 ounces. And at my store, the cinnamon toaster bags... They are, the signs on them are two for six, so they should be three dollars, but my store has clearanced them to a dollar, and we have two dollars back on Ibotta with a limit of five, so I got five, my husband got five more too, and then on Shopkick, there is a dollar sixty back on any multi-meal cereal. So one of these is going to be a two dollar and sixty cent money maker if you only do one. Now I got five so it worked out to be a six dollar and sixty cent money maker which is awesome so i'm going to be donating quite a few of these to my local food pantry after my family picks through but we can only use so much cereal <laughs> Next up, uh, never, not really a great deal, but I've been needing to get more dry cat food. We've been out for a bit, so I just threw this in since I had overage to play with. The Purina Cat Chow, the 3.15 pound, it's $5.34. There's a dollar back in Ibotta, and there is also a 10 cent off any dry cat food that will track towards bonuses. It made it $4.24 for the bag, so not awesome, but uh, better than paying full price, which is always what we want to aim for. <laughs> Next, we have a awesome deal on trash bags. I have, this is probably the best price I've ever grabbed on trash bags. They're really hard to coupon for for some reason. Now, the 20 count of the Glad Force Flex, you can do this in any of the scents, but it does have to be with Clorox. That's the important part. These are $4.98. There is three dollars and twenty cents back on Shopkick on any of the Force Flex with Clorox. It makes this a dollar seventy-eight, and I did the math, and this is still quite a bit cheaper than if you did great value trash bags. So it is a really good price. So we both picked up one on both of our accounts. Next, there is $7 back on any Bulldog skincare or face products. So there are shave gels. There's also a face wash that you could do. These are $6.97. So after the $7 I bought a rebate, it's a free scent money maker. Next, I went ahead and did this Shopkick bundle again. You're going to grab first one of the Dove Men deodorant. These are in the travel section. They're $0.97. Cents. And then you're going to grab one of the Dove Men Plus Care Advanced Care. It does need to be advanced. You can do any of the varieties. I picked up Calming on my account. And then my husband did Replenishing. And I think there's also like a Renewing one. Um, just make sure it's Advanced Care. These are $6.97 no matter what kind you do. You're going to get $2 back on the Big Body Wash from Ibotta. There is a $6.60 bundle for buying both of these on the same receipt. It makes the pair completely free and a $0.66 cent money maker. Now, I had a couple of Suave Men coupons left from the May Unilever Super Saver. If you have any of them left, this is a almost freebie. The Suave Men 2-in-1s are $1.52. We have $1.50 paper coupons off any Suave Men hair product, and it does attach to this no problem, so it makes them $0.02 cents each. And there was a limited two, so I went ahead and grabbed two, and then my husband did one um, earlier in the day at a different store. 
Then, of course, I picked up this Clorox deal again. I'm excited to get more of this. I really like stocking up on bleach. So the Clorox Splashless, they are $2.48. You're going to buy two. You can either get $5 back on Swagbucks, which makes it completely free, plus like a $0.04 moneymaker. Or if you do my points, there's $5.34 back, which makes it a $0.36 cent moneymaker on two. Now, if you have accounts with Swagbucks and my points, definitely you can do it on both. They do have to be completely separate transactions, as I mentioned earlier with the uh, Kinder deal. You cannot submit the same receipt, but definitely you can do it twice as long as you buy enough to fulfill it. So I went ahead and grabbed those as well. So altogether, after all my rebates, I hit that a $5 party bonus and $3 weekend warrior bonus. And then I did have quite a bit of overage from my cereal. Now, just on my account, not counting what we did on my husband's, this was an $11 and free cent money maker, which is super awesome, especially in the trash bags and bleach and all of the razors here. It was a really good week. Now, I'll have a breakdown in the description so you can see all the apps and coupons that I used and if you have any questions about any of these deals feel free to leave me a comment and I'd love to chat with you but I post big hauls like this a couple times every week so if you want to keep up to date with this kind of stuff definitely hit subscribe I try to get these deals out to you guys as quick as I can so you can run out and grab them while they're still live uh, but thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next haul bye